How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Fall 2005. It's Torben Tuesday, my favourite day of the month. Today we're going to be taking a look at some clues that we've been given by Playground Games where we can try and figure out what's coming in the next update which is going to be announced next week. So we're going to take a deep dive into the clues, figure some things out and see what's what. As always guys, feel free to contribute and put your ideas in the comment section below if you spot any clues that I've missed or have any ideas. You know, it's a joint conversation this is. So jumping into it, we're quickly going to cover a few other things that have happened on Twitter like we usually do. Some of the tweets that have come from Forza. They've noted and are investigating an issue where bonus boards in Rally Adventure may lack collision and be hard to break. That's probably quite a frustrating one to anybody having that. It is under investigation. That was almost a week ago, so it might already be fixed by now. And along with that, I want to quickly shed some light on the Rivals competitions that they do on Twitter, where they basically run Rivals events on the oval circuit that was added in this most recent update, where we're currently on week three and any participants will get basically receive free in-game credits for just participating in this sort of rivals event thing and if you if you're the winner if you get maybe top three or whatever they will receive even bigger prizes if you want more information on this go and check them out on twitter i like to shed light on what they tweet about because not many of you viewers not many forza players check twitter and a lot of interesting stuff happened on there so they are extending the deadline today for the b-class rival times but well, today is the day to do it and once again you'll get free credits for just participating so let's get on to the main point of today's video which is the torben tuesday so Let's have a look at the tweet. This is the Torben Tuesday tweet slash image. Now there are actually two images in this Torben Tuesday. We can see that the caption says they're the same photo dot 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 eye emoji camera emoji. And then we've got two images, one of Torben standing in front of a Holden Monaro. I think that's how you pronounce the car. And then the second image is of the same car in the same location, but it's sort of dark. You know, it's blacked out. Now, straight away, we can figure out a lot of things from this image. If we have a look back at the splash screen that's telling us what's coming in this next update, we know there's photo mode updates coming, overlanding modifications, new cars and pathfinding accolades. Now, what can we tell from these clues and the images about what's specifically coming? If you take a look at these images, they make sure that they tell us in the caption that they are the same photo. Now, they're not the same photo, but it's as good as they're going to get when they take photos in real life. Now, one of them is quite light and one of them is quite dark. It seems that they are trying to tell us that a photo mode update is coming where we will be able to choose the time of day within the photo mode because one of them's dark, one of them's day. That seems to be what they're hinting at here. So changing the time of day within photo mode is probably coming to the game. What else? Well, Torben is stood within the photo and he seems to be doing a very specific pose again it's very likely hinting at maybe we're going to be able to add characters and certain poses and facial expressions to our photos whether that's in the day or in the night it's all very obvious to be honest i don't really see what else it would be night and day photo mode selections coming and character poses within photos as well i don't think it's going to be as good as being able to place a character anywhere in the photo i think you're going to be able to place your character in front of the car to the left of the car to the right or to behind it as an example i don't think you're going to be able to place him anywhere but we'll have to wait and see if you actually look very closely at the darkened nighttime image Torben is actually sat in the driver's seat so you can choose to have your character in the driver's seat or outside the car remember guys if you are enjoying this video and you find it very helpful please do consider subscribing we do stuff like this every month for every Torben Tuesday news leaks just everything you want to do with Forza what are some other differences well if we take a look at the steering angle of the two cars in the daytime it's pointing left in nighttime it's pointing straight forward I would say this is hinting at we are going to be able to change the direction of the tyres within photo mode. A few people have said that the the comparison here isn't night and day, it's more so exposure improvements. Now I agree the darkened image does look like the exposure has been messed with. Maybe it is a hint at exposure setting improvements coming to the game. I think it's probably day and night though, rather than exposure changes. Another thing that's slightly different with these images is the photo angle. Now it's sort of pointing at the car from a different direction. 
Now, you can do that within Forza anyway, so I don't think that's a hint towards anything. I think that's just as close as they could get to two images to look the same in real life, as it's not as easy as it is in a game, is it? What else do we have? Well, the car itself might be hinting towards some things. It's a Holden Monaro. We have that car in the game already. Maybe more Holdens are coming to the game. It's certainly possible. Now, the Holden is an Australian car. There are not many Australian car brands out there. I've got a list on screen right now of all of the Australian car brands that are currently active to date. There's not really any that stand out other than Brabham, I think that's how you say it. We got the BT62 Brabham, I think it's called, in the Hot Wheels update. Maybe we're getting another Brabham. That's if the Holden is a hint towards anything. It probably isn't, but we like to pick at everything within the Torben Tuesday image, don't we? If we take a look back at the splash screen, we can see we're getting overlanding modifications as well. Now, I can't see anything in this image that's telling us anything about overlanding modifications. There's nothing Australian about overlanding. I had a bit of a Google and looked through things and couldn't really find anything that stood out. So I think we're gonna, we're gonna have to wait and see on what modifications are coming. It's seeming more likely now that the overlanding modifications part of the update isn't going to be a big part of it. It's just going to be maybe a few body kits here and there, a few upgrades, nothing too serious. The main focus seems to be the photo mode update. But we like to dig into the images thoroughly. So where was this photo taken? Because that might tell us something as well. Well, we can see on the building it says Rosmore or Rossmore, I should say. Now that is the Rossmore house, which is in Leamington Spa. I had a look on Google Maps, made sure to find it. And this is where Playground Games are based. Now Playground Games are the developers of Forza Horizon 5, so it makes sense. So the location of this is nothing special. This is just basically right outside of their studio. Maybe they had a Holden there that day. I don't think the Holden is specifically trying to tell us anything. I think it's just the car that they chose to include in this Torben Tuesday. So the location doesn't really seem to mean anything. I did actually have a look on Street View and see if Torben was pointing at anything on Street View. Maybe there was a certain thing across the road that like told us something. I don't know. I like to look into things. I didn't find anything. So location I think is irrelevant. One thing that does frustrate me to this day and make me curious is the crossword puzzle. If you guys remember that, um, it would have been 10 months ago now that we were first given this crossword, given clues to try and figure out what's coming in the updates. Well, we still have one word left to this day and the past couple of months has not, has not completed it yet. So I still don't know what this is. Many people believe it's test track. I'm against that. It doesn't make any sense to be test track. So I think we're still yet to figure out what is in this crossword. And yet again, this photo mode update, I don't think we'll fill it in. So I'm really, I really don't have a clue. Anyway, guys, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of this. We will find out next week what's coming and I'll see you all later.